what's up everybody my name is tech from he's our beef and tech from his media.com where we cover the latest tech news gadget reviews and much more up this week is another episode of android weekly where i talk about a different android device every week this is the first episode of season three so i hope you guys enjoy the season it'll be very good i won't be late on any videos i have a new schedule planned out and it's all in the making right here so basically what i'm going to be doing today is talking about the samsung galaxy tab pro 8.4 there will be a two-part series here, and it will be put into a playlist known as the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro lineup. So there's the 8.4, the 10.1. Next week, I'll be covering the 10.1. They're identically the same as each other, but there's a little bit of difference in both of them when it comes down to screen size. So I'm Tech Promi, so I'll be from TechPromiseMedia.com. Let's get started, rounding up all those little bits of Android to make one Android Weekly. <laughs> So in this episode of Android Weekly, I'm going to be talking to you about the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. Now, as you know, right now, I own myself a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. As you can see right now, I can own that. But the thing is, they created a new tablet to kind of make up for their lack of putting in specifications and their lack of putting in all these new specs that could be into these tablets. And they, all that lack of that, they put it into the Pro. They put all new specs, better screen sizes, better displays, better cameras, better processors, all of that that they neglected to put on all of these tablets that I have right now since they've been paying attention mostly to their Galaxy S lineups and their other Galaxy devices, they finally made a Galaxy Tab Pro. So the Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 comes, as its name says, a 8.4 inch 2560 by 1600 display. So that's a pretty good HD display. That's almost, that's better than the MacBook Pro display with a overall PPI of 359, I may be off by a little bit. It also has 8 megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording, 2.3 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU, 2 gigs of RAM, which is pretty good, and to top it off, Android 4.4 KitKat. Now this makes it a pro device because it has great battery life with a 4,800 milliamp hour battery, and it's all packed into this one great tablet. Now the price I'm not so happy about for $400 if you pre-order on Amazon. I'm not too happy about that for $400 that you have to pay for an 8.4 inch tablet because I can get this literally on Black Friday I got this for $149. It's normally $200. Now if you're doubling the specs, okay I can understand $400 but make it maybe $299. But make it you know make it maybe 329 but don't make it 400 people just don't have that type of money to pay for a tablet they can get for a lower price so if Samsung can kind of fix that price I think we're all good here because if not Houston we have a problem because that's a bit too much for a tablet of these specs I mean I'm not saying that it's not worth it I'm not saying that but I'm saying that the Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 should be at a lower price point because there's many people who love the Galaxy Tab lineup as I am one myself and we want the price to be low just a little bit because these are Android tablets. These are not iPad minis. You cannot sell this for $400. I'm not getting pissed at Samsung but that's something they need to improve. Otherwise this tablet is spec'd out to the grills with just great specifications and I think that many people want to pick up this tablet right now on Amazon for $400 because first of all they have to buy it for $400 they really can't get it at any other price because it just launched you can pre-order right now second of all look at this thing it is maxed out with an HD display 4800 million power battery which could have been 5000 but battery life is still just great Android 4.4 KitKat all these specs combined together to make one outstanding tablet that I think a lot of people will like I think a lot of people will buy because Samsung has been known for the S4 lineup S3, S2, Galaxy S Blaze, all of that they've been known for all those devices but now they're taking good specifications and put the, putting them onto their tab lineup so thank you everybody for watching I love the Samsung Galaxy Tab 
Pro 8.4. If you liked it, please thumbs it up. And before we head out of here, here's the question of the day. So, Level Max 80 says, dude, you got good effects with the videos. So, thank you so much for the comment, good effects with the videos. Now, I'm guessing this is a question, bro, you got good effects, how do you do that? So, I'm going to basically show you how I do that. So, first of all, I do color correction, then I do kind of transitions. Uh, he commented on the HECM8 for suppressions. I just do basically color correction. I think that's what you're forming to. Uh, I just do it right here as I'm showing you on the screen. Here's a little screen recording of it. Uh, I'm doing screen color correction. So I can kind of get it to better adjust to my skin color and the background colors. Because right now, you know, it looks kind of faded out. And that's not the real color. So I just have to color correct it just a bit to make it tweak and look good for all of you guys. This, that was the question of the day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks so much for all the support. If you liked the video, please thumbs it up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly tech videos. I'm Tech Fromies IB from TechFromiesMedia.com.